Wait, so a white family lets a migrant black family to her house so long as they are cleaning and cooking. Hmm. So amazing. Everyone, please welcome to the show, Ty Smith. What is really on Focus and Focus I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. If you are someone who's been subscribed to my channel for a long time, double check to make sure that you are. But if you are fairly new to the channel, get an idea of what this channel is about. What do you do? Go to my channel, click on playlist. All these different things I do on this channel. See all these different thumbnails? Those are all different categories of things that I do on this channel, from comedy to cooking to DIY when it comes to fixing cars. There's a lot of things I do on this channel. So check the channel out in its entirety before you subscribe. I'm pretty sure you'll find something on here that you like. What's going on, folks? Appreciate you guys all being here. Make sure you do everything I told you to do at the beginning of this video. Make sure you follow me up here, there, there, and there. Especially up here if you want to financially support the channel. Just $1 a month, $12 a year on the Patreon, okay? I'm also on Twitter as the Real Ty Smith, and I have a, another YouTube channel called Man, Husband, Father. Go check those places out. Follow me over there. Appreciate it. All right. So, y'all, yeah, I knew this was going to be something that's going to be buzzing crazily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We finally have a family that is pretty much being put in the news right now because they allowed a migrant family to come and live in their house. Check this out. Story you'll only see here on NBC 10 Boston. A migrant family from Haiti is sharing their experience. They're searching for shelter in the Boston area and then recently found a host home in Brookline. And now they're looking for jobs. As NBC 10's Aaron Logan reports, they say these last few weeks have been life changing. And it's been an emotional few weeks for Wildande Joseph and her husband. First, sleeping on the floor at Logan Airport, then in Children's Hospital with their two year old daughter who got very sick. Me siento mal. It's not more difficult at the time. She felt bad, as any mother would. Now things are looking much brighter as they've been welcomed into Lisa Hillenbrand's Brookline apartment. Tu niña es muy alegre ahora. Sí. Muy alegre. Cuando se levanta en la mañana, se dice, ay, Lisa. Oh. <laughs> she says her daughter yeah, is very happy. Yeah. When she wakes up in the morning, she says, hi, Lisa, and everyone starts the day smiling. It's a delight, and it's really fun having them. What I realized is there's so much prejudice against refugees, mostly because people don't know them. Lisa says she feels like she has her own personal chef, as Wildande loves cooking. Te gusta la ocupación? Sí. sí. In fact, her goal is to open up her own restaurant. Que lo tiene mi propio restaurante. The couple has their work permits, and they've been taking English classes. Yo cualquier trabajo va a hacer para guardar mi dinero para para hacer mi futuro. They're open to work anywhere to save money for their future. In the meantime, they're enjoying their time with Lisa, their new friend for life, and their daughter's new grandmother. Se abuela mi mi niña. They are hardworking. They want to learn. They want to be successful. And I feel great helping, and I get to understand the refugee crisis from the inside. Lisa says she's so impressed by the number of people she's met right here at Brookline Town Hall meetings who've been stepping up and hosting families. She's hopeful more will do the same in the coming days and weeks. In Brookline, Erin Logan, NBC10 Boston. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, this is where it get interesting in it. And most of you that follow my channel, y'all know I can be very, very sarcastic. Where are all the BLM people? Where are all the virtue signaling folks? Where are all the cultural appropriation folks? I wonder if this is going to send us back to the slave times. Y'all got a black woman, white people, working in your kitchen, cooking for you. Is that your mammy? Do you have a mammy? And look at her. She, they just a cheesing just like they would have stereotyped black folks back in the day. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy. You know, even though she's foreign and she's speaking a different language, pretty much. I'm so happy that that master lets me stays in the house. She gives me place to stay, gives me heat, gives me food, makes sure my children taken care of. My children love master. My children, even master, they wakes up and they say hi to me. I love master family as well. I get to cook for master and fixes all the foods they wants me to. So long as I stay being a good Negro, I get to stays with master. Now, do I really mean that? No, I'm all for Helping people, ladies and gentlemen, you have to understand that. But 
How crazy that you would allow an illegal, I'm not talking about this particular person because they say that's a migrant. I don't know if she's legal or not. I don't know. I know they say that on news because the news can tell you anything. I don't know. What I do know is how insulting it is that I can guarantee you or your money back that in that city, there are some veterans right now. Veterans, women and men. She didn't let them in her house, did she? Huh? What about them? It's amazing that you got dang on Americans are doing the same exact thing that this huge system that y'all call the government is doing with the people from the southern border. Y'all and what they're doing for Ukraine and Israel and what they're doing for um, Taiwan. You are cool with taking care of foreigners, people that's not from this country, and you are about your own. It's amazing that it's going to be a trending thing now. Well, those people are only trying to come over here to make their lives better. They only want to have an opportunity. There are veterans who fought for you. They fought for you. They got their legs blown off. Suffering from PTSD. For you. Well, then that's our government. They should be taking care of it. But your government is asking you to take care of these foreigners. You Okay. And trust me when I tell y'all, I don't care what they tell y'all, veteran affairs do 50% from my experience, my experience, I know it can be anecdotal, from my experience, them dang on veteran affairs do those veterans completely wrong, treat them like bull crap, less than bull crap. Facilities all the way from Chicago all the way down to Missouri, multiple facilities, whether it's assisted living, whether it's a skilled nursing facility. They treat those veterans like crap. Those veterans got to jump through so many hoops just to get certain things they need for themselves to be treated like crap. But these people coming to the country, they getting cards for money. They getting housing, townhomes being built for them to stay in for free. For free. And it's a reason, folks, they are buying these Immigrants, these migrants, these asylum seekers, they are buying them off for votes. Plain and simple. That's why they're trying to get it all in before this next election come around. Because if it is going to end up possibly being Trump, they know he's going to shut it down. But then they know that when the next election come around, all these foreigners, look, they, look they're trying to get these people licensed. They're trying to get them being police officers. They're trying to get them to get IDs. They're trying to get these people to get in there and start voting because they know they are going to vote for them. Want to know why? Because they play the same games on you Negroes. The same game on you Negroes. But the problem that they're having right now is that Trump woke a lot of people up. Ooh, we didn't. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Charles, what are you saying? Well, madam, um, we see that the niggas are starting to wake up. The niggas are starting to realize that we've been playing them and they're starting to spread it amongst the other niggas within their community. We have to do something about it. Oh, open the border. Open the border, let many of them come in. Now, I'm imitating, making fun of somebody that I just have in my mind as being like an elite globalist person who has an agenda. They play the same game. Give black folks a lot of free stuff. Tell black folks how terrible they've been treated and how what they went through and blah, 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 blah. Tell them how bad things are and how they have trauma from something that they didn't experience at all. But tell them all that. Give them free stuff so they can keep voting for us. Now black folks are starting to see. Hold on now. Wait a minute. Ooh, they didn't like that. So what do we do? Get some other colored people in here that we can play the same game on them too. Give them free food, free housing, give them money. Don't put them in jail or anything like that. We want to treat these people as best as we can so those can be the people we can give these votes to. So we can do them the same exact way and play them the same exact way that we did with black people for generations and generations and generations. And that's the game plan. That's exactly what they're doing. It's not about these people trying to come over here and find a better life and opportunity. Do you, and we being invaded. Venezuelans, Chinese people, they people from all kinds of places are coming in. Y'all think that they're all Mexicans and all that. They're not. They're man, anyway. I'm sorry, y'all. I know y'all thinking like, dude, Ty, you done went off, boy. And yes, yes. You wanna know why? Because I care about my country. And I really believe that you should take care of your own first before you take care of anybody else. It would be awesome if this woman right here that we just saw in the video. And look, don't fall for all the heart pulling strings and the music they play with. And the lady, I'm so happy. I, G, G. That's, I get it. I get it. Somebody tried to come at me and say, Ty, the Good Samaritan in the Bible, you had yeah, the Good Samaritan in the Bible, put that person in the hotel. 
They didn't bring them to their house, though, did they? Nice try on that, though. But I get all the heart strings and all that stuff like that and music go with it. But what would be awesome? If somebody that knows this woman and her family, see if she'd open her doors up for anybody that's in her family. I'll wait. Anyway, don't forget, folks, get into your cell phones. Let somebody know about this channel. Tell them to subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button right now. Subscribe to the channel right now. If you haven't, if, you're, if it's your first time watching it and you like it, hit the subscribe button. Check out my channel in its entirety, all right? Appreciate it. Let's see what y'all got to say on this matter. I am Ty Smith, Model Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus. What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also, right here, is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But like right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny, it can be something serious, it does not matter. But this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel. Because I do a lot in this channel, all right? So again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it, keep on supporting it, and God bless you all.